so in case you can't tell by the body armor, I'm still working with Sheila's it is by no means aggression, it is feeding response. I am not training her, which is working, but <coughs> for obvious reasons, still nervous when I handle her. Well, okay, not nervous. I anticipate getting bit. But the last, <coughs> you'll have to excuse me, I'm suffering, oh well, suffering's the wrong term, I'm bottling a lung infection right now, but she is going back to being her handleable self, but if I have exposed skin, and I don't like the way she's looking at that right now, but if I do have exposed skin, she tends to want to nab it. So, slowly but surely working with her, and it's being a success. Um, I doubt I'm going to be able to get everything I need, baby rack, incubator, what have you. I can build my own incubator, but I have not done so in a very long time, and well, I want to make sure I get a reliable one and not rely on my own limited knowledge that's mostly forgotten now. But I am going to be breeding the Walmas very sooner than anticipated. I'm thinking they're getting ready now. Say hello, Sheila. They're getting about that size. They're definitely about that age. I haven't been power feeding them, though. With Erwin, it's not so much an Erwin an issue. Erwin's an oddly gentle eater. Sheila is not. Which is why when she does bite me, I think I am food. No, 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 no. That's exposed skin. I don't want you there. Um, it hurts. I'm not going to lie. It hurts. Isabella, well, not the Isabella that I had before, the one I had to, the one I sold. The original Isabella, she was a full-grown Colombian boa constrictor like Easily, easily eight feet long. And she'd bite me. But she wouldn't bite me thinking it was a feeding response. She, we called her, and I'm going to try and get Sheila in the photo. We called her the stereotypical dumb blonde. <laughs> Reason being, what she do is, like, she would be, like, easily, she, again, easily eight feet long. She will stretch out her body as far as possible and then lose control, fall, flail around, bite me more as an attempt to leverage herself, and then immediately let go. And oftentimes I wouldn't even realize she bit me until I'd see the mark. It didn't hurt. Sheila's bites hurt. Especially when, comp and when I say it hurts compared to when Whoa. She just constricted strong from when we almost felt medical. Oh yeah, when Sheila bites, it hurts. But she does seem to be doing a lot better now. She's definitely 
gaining weight. I am going to put her back in the kid because he's being odd right now. Anyway, they did just clean her cage, which is why I let her out. Probably gonna take Ferdinand for a while. Might, if she'll let me, I'll take a photo of her. Post it on my Instagram. I don't see why she won't let me. I'll just have to put her on the bed. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and bye. And yeah, I know my, my voice is getting better. I know it sounds bad now. My voice is honestly a lot better. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and bye.